there was a lot to love about the Ahsoka series on Disney+, Plus, but arguably it should have ended in a clear defeat for the Jedi heroes. In many cases, enemies seem to hold back from using lethal force, allowing the heroes to win or at least survive. Critics of Star Wars call this a mistake, but each time storytellers use it, it starts to make more sense, because it creates tension, an opportunity in the future for a rematch, or unintended consequences for the enemy forces. You're making a big mistake, you know? How about letting me do the talking? The assault on the Night Sisters' tower to get to the Chimera and Thrawn was an impressive action sequence, especially for a television series. Yet, Morgan Elsbeth and her night troopers chose a strategy that was more cinematic than strategic. These poor battlefield decisions are not unique to Ahsoka. In A New Hope, the Empire could have killed Luke, Han, Chewbacca, and Princess Leia at any time, yet they deliberately held back so they would lead the Death Star to the hidden rebel base on Yavin 4. They let us go. It's the only explanation for the ease of our escape. And that proved to be a strategic mistake of galactic proportions for the Empire. I guess Tarkin should have listened to that one general who was like, hey, maybe we're sitting ducks here. Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? Perhaps Thrawn reasoned his aims would be better served by not prioritizing his enemy's destruction. He merely needed to stall them. Thus, whether by order or instinct, the antagonist's choices served delaying the fight rather than simply ending it. It's not unreasonable for viewers to expect villains to behave in optimal ways, but good characters seldom act optimally. They make mistakes out of ignorance, incompetence, or negligence. You're getting more and more myopic about this. Whatever the reason, these suboptimal choices make them act and sound more real. This in turn can lend the story a degree of authenticity. Your English teacher has a word for characters who act with this level of pride and abandon, hubris. Now, whether the writers and filmmakers involved executed this well or not is a different story. As with most things, such judgments come down to taste and a viewer's sensibilities. In The Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader chose not to kill Luke Skywalker in service of a grander plan that ultimately led to the destruction of the Death Star, the fall of the Empire, and Vader's demise. Similarly, Grand Admiral Thrawn's choice to delay rather than destroy Ahsoka may very well serve as the first step towards his inevitable demise. Every time a piece of human trash is put under a rock pile, the world's a better place. The path of selfishness, violence, and domination ultimately leads one to the same end, but the fun lies in discovering how they get there.